so this game was clearly rigged. Um, multiple calls in the first half that just controlled the tempo of the game, but Miami still had a five-point lead. I knew I had to record it to expose what was going on. The fans were chanting in the first half that the refs suck. It was clear as day. Uh, it would be stretches where, and it matters because it controls the tempo of the game, and players can't shoot their normal shots if they know. Well, it just adds an element to the game, and Boston players, they, they can more easily hit their shots because they don't have to hit their shots. They can just go to the free throw line for free because they, they see what's going on and they play into it. So it takes the pressure off Boston's offense and it adds pressure to Miami. And specifically their defense, but also their offense in a way. Obviously their defense because they can't touch them. And there was even cases where they weren't touching them but they were still getting the call because that's what it's obvious rigging. Let's see. Struce drives into the paint. One of the minutes. We haven't had a double-figure lead tonight. This is the third quarter, and I had to start recording because... As the Celtics have two centers in Williams and Hoffman in the... That was a bullshit call. I just didn't record it in time. Butler just three for eleven. As four assists, Duncan Robinson drives. Wow, they didn't get a call. One man to beat it's Lowry drives inside. And then they call that on boss and Miami. So we don't get a call here, but then there's a no contact call here. Right after Rob Williams got free throws already. So now they're gonna go up four off bullshit calls. So good at reading it. Instead, so how do you play this as if you're Miami? If you can't even do this on defense, you just I, I what? You just let foul, them score? Boston and Jeff Van Gundy saying, I don't know if that's a foul. In so this is happening the whole game. Miami's just Miami supposed to play through this? Or does it disrupt their offense in a little bit of way? Obviously it disrupts their offense. And he's not right. He's got to play better though. If you're gonna play minutes. You play better. Absolutely. I said I'd protest. I'd literally protest this game. Because there was three calls in a row. Well, this was two. It was two at this point, and then the third one happened. This guy, I'm not shooting the corner three when he's close, and I'm showing him the shot. Who's injured, by the way? So Miami knows it can't go to the rim because they're going to get hammered and not get a call. So it disrupts their offense. I just don't like the way it's trending. Now they have a four-point lead, and there's a hole, and you have to come back. See the added pressure? You have to hit a shot, or else they're just going to get free throws on the other end, and the lead's going to get bigger and bigger. Or they're going to hit easy shots, because they don't have to hit shots, because if they don't hit shots, then they'll just get free throws and win the game. Then look at this foul. So this is the third foul in a row. Look at this foul. Third foul in a row. I knew I should have started recording, and this is why. Third foul in a row, and watch this foul. Grabs the ball. He has Duncan's hand. That's the third foul in a row. That's the third foul to put you up six? After Miami was up five? They're controlling the whole game. Inside, missed it. What else happened during the game? It's the whole, it's this whole time. They were controlling the whole tempo, and you go watch the video for yourself. I just showed you how to watch it. Now go watch it for yourself. People on fucking Twitter and NBA communities all over the internet have no idea because they just watch the highlights. You know, if you actually watch it, you see what the fuck is going on. That's why I had to record it. In the first half, it was terrible, and we were still at by five. But. It, we could clearly tell what was going on, and the fans could tell what was going on. And then when you factor in the free throw, it was 10 to 2 on the free throws for the first half. 10 free throws for Boston, 2 for Miami. And we had a 5 point lead. If that replicates in the second half, then it's 20 to 4, and they're leading. And we're, if we have a 5 point lead still, 
If we have a five point lead and they rig it the way they did 10 to two, then that's a 10 point differential for Boston in free throws. And our five point lead is now a five point loss if we play the exact same. So we automatically have to play harder than they did in the first in the first half to win if it keeps going the way it did. And then it got even worse. So you see the mental aspect and players know all this because they're smart. Total rig. So you got to make this viral to change it. I mean, the series isn't over. If we bring attention to it, then it'll, it'll, it'll change. 